This is Juan Romero from Switchwatch, and this is the Abzu review. We're going to get into this one and break it down. Now there is a few things that make my imagination run wild. Space always fills me with that type of feeling where exploration and the unknown draws me to it somehow, a curiosity if you will. And I feel that same sense of wonderment and feeling about the sea. Such a large mass of water on this planet that I can't help but feel what on earth could be in the deepest depth of our seas. Abzu is a game that made me question why we play games in the first place, such as the impact this game left on me. I can't wait to tell you more. In terms of gameplay, Abzu is a swimming simulator that takes you on a journey and has you in the ocean from the very beginning. A diver who can peek their head above water, but who will spend most of this journey underwater. You are given a few tips in the beginning, what button does what, and that's it, you're off and away. There's no killing for you to do here and no violence. No sir, this is purely serene meditative experience and yes, you can meditate in this game. Here you have the freedom to explore the depths of the sea. Holding ZR allows you to swim and control our protagonist with the left analog while the right controls the camera. Tapping B gives the diver a boost and Y allows you to interact with a little yellow sonar of sorts. A allows you to somersault in the water but that's as simple as the controls get. They're all very tight here and it's beautiful just controlling your diver. The beauty though of this game is in its exploration and puzzle solving, none of which is very taxing. While the game does a great job of making the environments feel big, there is always something that will catch your eye in moving you in the right direction. It might be something a little shiny or a chain that you may need to follow to open a door. The puzzles are all very simple, but Abzu has this uncanny knack of keeping you moving forward like the flow of the water, because this game is linear. As you complete each one, a new door will open, taking you to another area, and if you've ever played Tomb Raider, then it's a little like that, in that there are large rooms where you'll need to figure out a puzzle and move on. Just here, it's all underwater. Now, you're never stuck in one place for too long unless you decide to stay there, which happened to me on a number of times. See, the star of the show here is not you, but the sea creatures you come across. You'll have to stop in wonderment as you see a giant whale swim above you or grasp onto a sunfish while it drags you along, and as it does, the colours change with the sun reflecting on it. Pure amazement, and as I explored more and more, the more amazed and enthralled in this world I became with this amazingly created world. As you explore, you begin to uncover the mysteries of Abzu, and it will take you on a wondrous journey. Not one word was spoken or written throughout, and you begin to understand this journey of life, one that I will not forget in any great hurry. Early on, I found a little swimming robot that kept me company, and it felt like I was it was all I had other than the sea creatures swimming around. At one time I was like in the film Castaway where I just shouted, Wilson, no! Even though the journey is short, you can't help but feel a little bit drawn to the little fella. So in essence, you're not going to be taking part in a lot of action. It's all about exploration and if that's your bag, then you're going to love this. This is very much like the game Journey. If you've ever played that one, then you'll know where I'm coming from. I don't really have many negatives to say about the gameplay, other than the puzzles could have been made a little bit more challenging, they sort of do repeat themselves a little bit too often. Now in the audio section, the music in Abzu is something to behold and if you play this game in handheld then just make sure you put a good pair of headphones on to do this wonderfully composed music throughout this game justice. The 
The environments are brought to life with this music, like it's always moving, alive somehow, really hard to explain unless you play the game, but it's stunning. If you've ever listened to a harp, then it has this type of sound that just makes it feel magical and here it sounds as though there are half a dozen or so harps all playing together to create this absolutely vibrant soundtrack which matches the visuals on point. Austin Wintory is a really amazing composer and felt to me like he really understood the brief and the sound which needed to be projected here. The sound is impactful, it makes your imagination run wild with those violins which add such wonderment. The music for me takes this from being good to being great because it adds so much to the mystique of the game. There is even a choir in here for good measure, so for me the music here receives top marks. It's one of the best orchestral scores you're going to listen to in a game this year. And that for me is the highest praise I can really give it. In terms of visuals and performance, the game performs fantastically well. I didn't come across any slowdown in handheld or in docked mode. If the music was great, then the game has visuals to match. And that's what makes this game just so good. Everything looks fantastic from the water, the creatures and their animations. Like they make you feel like you're there. The brightness of the colours is also a joy to behold. When you see some of the sea creatures and the way they move, it's something that's going to surprise you because there's such an abundant amount of life on show here from the schools of fish to the dolphins swimming together. Then there are some of the underwater temples which kind of have this mysterious look and vibe about them with the golden colours and drawings on the wall which just all pop out at you. And then you see some of the statues which look to be from an ancient world and it all makes you feel as the game has this aura about it. Again I go back to the musical score because it gives these visuals even more impact, they are so well matched. Now in terms of value, Absu is $19.99 or £14.99, so a little bit more on the expensive side of the indie game spectrum. For me though it's worth every single penny even though the game is very short. You're looking at around two hours here. This is one of those games though that you just have to put some money aside for because you won't regret it. Yes, you'll finish it in one sitting probably because it is quite linear and it's not that challenging as a game. But if you love exploration, especially underwater, then this is going to be like you going to watch a movie and coming out of it saying, I loved every minute of that and I want to go and see it again. In terms of my verdict then, what else can I say about Abzu? If you made it this far into my review, then you'll know I love it. It's a game I will tell my friends they have to play. It's a game my little girl watched the whole way through and my wife too. It's a game with such beautiful visuals and musical score that you can't help but be taken to another place, even for a little while. So what if it's short? I would rather have a short game of this quality any day of the week and that's what it comes down to quality always in my eyes trumps quantity and this has it in abundance do yourself a favor darken the lights put up the sound and go for a dive because this is a masterpiece a nine out of ten if you enjoyed this review guys and i'd really appreciate it if you could let me know hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs down if you didn't and leave me a comment down below i want to know what other underwater games you've enjoyed in your time and why also if you're a new watcher here and you enjoy our reviews then why not subscribe for future reviews like this one my name is juan romero from switchwatch hope you've enjoyed this and i'll see you again on the next one take care